that is all the story of Crohn's versus ulcerative colitis. Not just what to read. Dr. Murli Bharadwaj evening Chai Pe Charcha classes will also tell you how to remember what you read. That is very, very important, doctor. Now, let us take up the next important mnemonic. Hypocomplementemia. What is uh, the story of hypocomplementemia? Remember, any persistent, aggressive, endovascular, systemic, infectious, inflammatory process consumes the complement and lead to hypocomplementemia. What are the important words you will remember? Persistent, aggressive, endovascular, systemic infection or inflammation leads to the development of complement exhaustion is what you need to remember. So what glomerulonephritis have a low complement? What glomerulonephritis have a normal complement? Favorite question of the examiner. Now, post-infectious glomerulonephritis, any infection consumes immunocomplexes and that leads to development of um, hypocomplementemia. You all agree with me? Membranoproliferative glomerulonephritis, anything proliferative, infectious or inflammatory, lead to development of uh, hypocomplementemia. So, MPGN you have it. Cryoglobulonemic glomerulonephritis. What is an important infection you will remember in relation to cryoglobulonemic glomerulonephritis? Hepatitis C. Lot of times they will have a hepatitis C. Serological positivity is what you need to remember. Similarly, lupus nephritis. Obviously, lupus is autoimmune and uh, exhausts the immune complexes and there is a hypercomplementary. No rocket science. So, these are the conditions which are associated with hypercomplementemia is what you have to remember. Then C1 esterase inhibitor associated with angioedema, there also you have hypercomplementemia. Terminal complement deficiencies, you have got all capsulated organism infections like the streptococcus pneumoniae, Neisseria, etc. etc. Why? For the capsulated organisms to be captured, you require opsonins. Complements are fundamentally terminal complement component pathways are com the terminal part of the complement pathway. They, those components C5, C6, C7, C8, C9, they are all opsonins. So if there is no opsonization, then you get all capsulated organism infections. Then there is another very common clinical condition where complement levels characteristically are low. What is that condition? Typically, examiner will ask you in the tomorrow's need PG, kisi ko coronary catheterization kiye the. Karne ke baad, suddenly he went into renal failure, he has isnophilia, he has isnophiluria, and he has got a low complement. Do, can you diagnose what is the underlying cause? Is the examiner's question tomorrow. What is your answer? That situation is called cholesterol emboli syndrome, is what you have to remember. The patients will develop. After catheterization, suddenly embolization of the cholesterol which is there in the coronaries that get dislodged and uh, that will go and uh, lead to blockage of the vessels leading to purple toes, libido reticularis, a fish network like appearance along with hypercomplementemia, renal failure, isnophilia and isnophiluria. So these are the things you should remember. Whenever examiner asks a question, hypocomplementemia, you have to be 100% sure.